All righty, so it looks like um, restarting my computer worked. We're gonna go ahead and check. What I'm now going to do is run that command that we got stuck on last time. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna go over to this terminal and I'm gonna paste that in there, which it's not pasting for some reason. I'm gonna try control V and see if that works. Hmm. I'm gonna try opening up another version of PowerShell, but this time I'm gonna right click it and run it as an administrator. It's a little buggy. I know this is a weird, this is the weird part of the install, uh, definitely. So I'm gonna go ahead, copy that. There it goes, it pastes in there. And WSL2 requires an update to its kernel component. So I think what I'm actually going to try and do is look back at some of the previous commands and see if maybe I can uh, Linux kernel update package. So I think we need to redo this update step after restarting our computer. Um, I probably shouldn't have done it in that order. I probably should have restarted my computer at some point and whatever. It is what it is. We're gonna click on that package and run it again and see if that fixes it. Bam, looks like it finished. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just press up on the arrow key to bring up the previous command, which now brings up this command that we just typed in. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter again. And it looks like it worked if I had to take a guess. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way to check it. A lot of times they'll provide that, but it's not giving me a way of doing that. So now if we go back, what we want to do, uh, actually, I'm just going to end the video here. I got to uninstall something so that I could show you the proper way to install it. I'm going to go ahead and stop my recording now. But if you can't get this step done, reach out to an instructor immediately. This is like a weird part. And a lot of this stuff is kind of weird. And I want you all to reach out in, especially in the tech questions channel, uh, the, the technical help channel and ask as many questions as possible. So that way everyone can, maybe you're running into the same error as someone else. And if you're running into that error, someone else wants, wants to see and can learn from that information as well.